Hi, I'm editor Leslie Nordea, here with your community news headlines. On the front page this week, a shark is head mother remains in mourning and seeks justice for the death of her teenage son during the riots last July. 17-year-old Loise Dubé was among the protesters at the Sharkers Head Bridge on July 12th when he was shot allegedly by a security officer. His mother, Smangele, said he was neither armed nor dangerous and had joined the protest unbeknownst to her. Smangele told police at the time that she could identify the shooter but she was not contacted again and now wants to know why it appears that the police have failed to investigate any further. On pages 2 and 3, we join the community in celebrating Mandela Day. On July 18, every year, South Africans devote 67 minutes to helping others. 67 minutes to mark the 67 years that Mandela spent fighting for justice, equality and human rights for all. North Coast residents took the opportunity with both hands, from handing out water in Tongat to revamping a creche in Sharker's Head, and much, much more. On page 6, Kwadakuza Mayor Lindy Nyaka received an unpleasant surprise when she went to the Nyonyoni Yamanzi area last Wednesday to introduce the contractor of a road project. Residents turned down the 1 million rand project for the regraveling of the main road in the area, claiming that they'd been promised a tarred blacktop road by previous mayor Ricardo Ntembu. They described the regraveling as an insult and demanded to know what had happened to the rest of the budgeted money for the tarred road. Also on page 6, road users are courting death by removing the concrete barriers across the Tongart River Bridge in order to use the bridge across the M4. The bridge has been closed since the April floods and is set to be demolished before a new bridge can be built in its place. A temporary access bridge is to be built in the interim, but it appears that frustrated drivers are not willing to wait for the transport department to take action. On pages 12 to 15, we continue to celebrate our best of Belito winners. The winning businesses were nominated across 121 categories, with just shy of 200,000 votes cast. Needless to say, we have been very busy handing out certificates and include a sample of the winners' celebrations in photographs this week. Other great stories to look out for include our leisure options section, which is packed with social events and both book and movie reviews. Last but not least, you don't want to miss out on our back page story on Salt Rock's Ty Kingsley Smith, who at just 12 years old has been named captain of the South African junior team to compete in the GTF World Taekwondo Championships in Bulgaria next week. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for daily breaking news.